What's going on, everybody? Tobin here with you. Thanks for checking out the channel. Much appreciated. Just back from them, their mountains. Uh, fun vacation with the family. Definitely good to uh, get a battery recharge. But I did do one video. You know, I had to wait for uh, the mechanic to fix my car. That was a scary situation. You're off in a in a in the in these mountains. Your car starts rattling, making some strange sounds. Obviously, it's not very used to going up in elevation, uh, even though it claims to have four wheel drive. And uh, I had to, like, leave it off in some small-town mechanic. But shout-out to my guy. He got it fixed. Did a fantastic job. We got out on the road and uh, did uh, Florida to uh, – did uh, Tennessee to Florida in one shoot last night. Got home at, like, at 2 in the morning, something like that. After a couple stop skis, got some, uh, some fast food. That was terrible. And uh, here we are. But the, uh, the big buzz, as uh, Mrs. Toba was kind of reading me the, uh, the Twitter – fodder that was going on as we were driving down was that a uh, James Harden is apparently uh on the way out in Philly he opted into his deal so he can get traded which yeah I did find surprising because it sounded like there were a couple of James Harden things that were out there that everybody seemed to go towards one of them that he was that he was going to return to Houston which I thought was you know weird but they have cap space you know, he is uh, he is beloved by that fan base. So I thought that maybe that, all right, that that was going to happen. I, but now, uh, but then it was like, no, 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 he's going to stay in Philly. He's going to return to Philly. Okay, so that, you know, discount that he took last year seemed like it was going to turn into, uh, you know, his long-term deal with Daryl Morey. Those two are, like, tied to the hip. Figured that was going to be something that, uh, that got done. But just look, just because... You uh, have a long relationship with a guy. You know, maybe you feel a little bit froggy with the deal. Maybe Daryl Morey. Uh, I saw some report that was like, oh, that the Philly didn't want to get uh, accused of tampering, so they didn't want to discuss his deal beforehand. That doesn't make sense to me. I mean, James Harden is their own free agent. I don't believe that's the rules. I think you could talk to your own guy about a deal. Um, so that one's a, a little bit weird. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure if it's your own guys, I don't think that that's a thing where you can get busted for tampering. Um, the reason they got busted last year was because P.J. Tucker wasn't their guy. He was on the Heat and had a deal done already. Same thing when uh, the Heat got the, the little slap on the wrist for Kyle Lowry and that whole deal getting done. But the reason we're doing this video is Shams comes out yesterday and he says, of the teams in the James Harden sweepstakes expected to emerge, the Clippers... And the Heat are expected to be among them. Other team that has been mentioned has been the New York Knicks. But, yes, the Heat have been thrown in there in the James Harden uh, interest cocktail from Shams. And, look, I'm going to just come off right away and say this. I don't want James Harden on the Miami Heat. I don't like James Harden as a player on the Miami Heat. Um, this is now three trade requests from three teams with James Harden. For a guy who is one of the most notorious choke artists in all of the land. And I really don't have a huge interest in him being in Miami. Um, this is not the first flirtation with James Harden before. This was a few years back when he ended up going to Brooklyn. There was some James Harden talk. And even, remember Jimmy Butler, he like liked an Instagram post. And had said some of the effect of, yeah, 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 I like the post. He was on the jump with Rachel Nichols, uh, had said that he just wants James Harden to be happy because he's got a good relationship with James Harden. You know, has praised his game up and down. Jimmy has done this with a couple of Kyrie Irving, James Harden. He's done this with, uh, with a couple of potential Heat players before. So do I dismiss it from the idea of will the Heat get into this talk? I don't know. I, I think that, Right now, it's pretty clear what their focus is. Their focus is on Damian Lillard, and that's the guy that they really want to try and target. I get everybody here is frustrated with the whole Damian Lillard seems very unsure. In fact, yesterday he had a uh, another cryptic post on uh, on social media where he was talking about rain. He was like, uh, "What was it? It was like I've seen I've been through too many storms to worry about raindrops." I think was the quote. Um, where the hell is it? Here it is. Survive too many storms to be bothered by raindrops. And listen, you know, that's that's like, you know, what Eric Spolster says. 
You know, when he says character isn't made of a bed of roses and sunshine like steel, it's forged in fire between a hammer and an anvil. Right now, we're seeing the hammer and the anvil. This is the NBA. So, you know, him and Spo right there together. Um, but I'm not a James Harden guy. And look, it's nothing to do with, you know, you would think it has in, in the, the culture stuff, the, uh, the, the fats. It has nothing to do with that. It really doesn't. I don't care that James Harden likes to go to strip clubs. I don't care that James Harden has uh, tanked his way out of some situations by getting a, a little chubby. I don't care about that. It strictly has to do with the playoff failures. I think it's just been well documented. The guy throughout his postseason career comes up so small, and you're basically going to be asking this guy to be your go-to guy, your go-to scorer in the postseason. And, you know, I just like how many good situations does the guy have to be in to completely poop the bed and for you to feel like, oh, this guy's just never going to get over the hump that way, being relied upon. You know, he's now getting hurt. He's not as quick as he used to be. Um, I suppose you could say maybe he's in a more comfortable situation with this team because, you know, Bam may not need the touches and Jimmy's not a guy who's going to demand the ball. You have two guys who aren't really going to demand the ball, right? They're going to be defensive stars. You're going to be an offensive star. Um, But... I mean, it would have to be, like, for the cheapskies, cheapskies. And, and quite frankly, Darren Morey seems like a huge pain in the ass to deal with, especially with the idea of you're dealing with James Harden going to a rival in your own conference who's beaten you in the playoffs. I just can't see it. I guess the Clippers are the front runner. That seems to make a lot more sense to me. I still don't understand what happened with the Houston thing. I don't know if, like, Ime Odoka just has no interest in James Harden and they're just rats off a ship on that. But I don't know why that just became a, a thing. Now, the big thing that the Heat got to look out for with this Harden thing, should he not come uh, to Miami, is apparently they're like, oh, well, you got to watch out for the assets they're going to gather and then flip that for Dame. Because obviously they got to keep Joel Embiid happy too. Um, which, by the way, I will say this just as an aside, just so we can have it on the record. If Joel Embiid somehow demands a trade, and that becomes a thing, and Joel Embiid for Bam out of Isle becomes a discussion, just so I could plant my flag here right now, I am not interested in trading Bam out of Io for Joel Embiid. I'm not. Um, you could say Joel Embiid's a better player. I can't disagree with you. The guy won the MVP, but Bam's, Bam's our guy. Like Bam has been to three Eastern conference finals. He's been to two NBA finals. You know, Joel Embiid's never been past the second round. And that guy has been, you know, given a lot of talent around him and whether it be injury, whether it be not showing up, whether it be falling on the floor a gazillion times, somehow just can never get over the hump to get to the conference finals. So, you tell me what that is and how that's going to age and what that's going to turn into. I'm just not interested in it. Um, you know, if there's a world where you could get Joel Embiid and not give up Bam, I don't see that world. Um, but if then then I'll have the talk. I'm not completely against having Joel Embiid. I just don't see a world where you could get Joel Embiid without giving up out of bio, and I'm not into that. But getting back to James Harden, and one of the reasons that I'm not also, and I, you know, there's a little bit of, there's always been this, this this noob, I don't know what generation it is, idiots. I think generation idiot is what it should be on Twitter. That's like, oh, this guy is past Dwayne Wade all time. And I'm just like, because he flops and he can get to the free throw line a bunch of times. So did D Wade. You know where he did it? In the NBA Finals. Okay. You know where James Harden has never done it? In the NBA Finals. Okay. So that definitely fuels some of my annoyance with the James Harden thing and why I'm not too keen on the Miami Heat being in on James Harden. I also just think that for me, I'm looking at uh I'm looking at will the Heat get into this or are they just kind of thrown out there as hey, James is interested in coming to you. You know, to try and drum up some market. Like why is the Heat out there? The Heat's out there obviously cuz the Heat Here's why. People know the Heat are star hunting, right? But there's really not that many stars out there right now that we know of that are that are on the market we know bradley beal was traded you know he got introduced yesterday by the way do you like how bradley beal yesterday was like oh it's book nation 
It's like, yep, exactly, dude. That's exactly where you want it to be, right? You want to be in the background as a as as a you know as as a bit actor. You don't want to be the star. Just let me just collect my oodles of money. It's books team, dude. Book KD, and then all the way down to me. Classic. Um, but I am, I am more. Yeah, I, I do look at this Philly thing with Daryl Morey, and I'm like, he can be a bit of a pain in the ass to deal with. Um, I don't know what he's going to look at from the standpoint of, you know, what is he going to get back for James Harden? How long is he going to drive this out? Because he look to his credit, he he played poker with the Ben Simmons thing, ended up getting James Harden. Um, but this is the thing that's a problem with that. If you're going to get into this back and forth with with Daryl Morey, James Harden, that dude has a black belt in showing up and being able to tank his value for the team that he's currently on. We've show, seen him show up with a fat suit, barely trying. That guy is, he's hes like a samurai at that. So I that would worry me then if I'm a team that has to trade for him. And then, now, okay, he has to play his way into shape. He has to get himself right. We've seen this with him. Like, it's not conducive to him getting through a season because he gets the hamstring injuries. He's not, he's already had multiple injuries of trying to get you know and it doesn't look the same getting past people you know we saw last year in the playoffs he can have some good performances he could put you give you a couple 40 pieces that will usually crater with some real stinkers and typically when the series gets more critical that's usually when James Harden plummets so I'm not into it I you know there's very you know me all right I I will get tickled my fancy would get tickled for any whale that's out there. Even last time when James Harden was on, I was like, I'm not a James Harden guy. But if, it, if if Jimmy wants it, okay. You know, and I, like I wasn't a huge Kyle Lowry guy. Kind of the same. Like, hey, all right. Makes Jimmy happy. Okay. But I don't know, man. This one to me is, is more like the heater out there just to drum up some kind of market. I don't really see it. I think like Clippers. All right. That seems to make some sense. It's out West. Knicks, maybe, although, you know, if I'm the New York Knicks, my, I mean, how are the Knicks not happy with Jalen Brunson having the ball in his hands at all points? Like, I feel like you got to figure out some other things. So that one doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Um, but, yeah, if you're going to sit here and say, well, you're going to risk losing out on Damian Lillard uh, or you're going to risk, you know, trying to get Damian Lillard and losing out on Harden. Yeah, I think I will. Like, if you told me it was somebody else, you know, like last year when the Heat missed out potentially for like Donovan Mitchell because they were pursuing KD. It's like, yeah, that one's still stung. I would have liked having Donovan Mitchell on the Heat. If you would have told me, oh, you could continue to pursue Damian Lillard and not get uh, James Harden, I'm, like, I'm okay with that. I, I'm okay with that. Sorry, I am. That's just that's just how I feel with it. I'm not a James Harden guy. Um, and after doing this video, you're welcome. He's probably going to end up in Miami. 